Sprinkler's engagement dashboards let you manage response workflows, prioritize messages, and take action with custom configured columns. Sprinkler allows you to manage inbound messages across social channels through clear workflows that let you route and prioritize messages, respond, and provide quick and accurate resolutions. Let's look at some of the actions you can take on messages in an engagement dashboard. If you want to know more about setting up engagement dashboards, check out the links below this video. Here you can see a message in an inbound engagement column. First off, you can see a number of information points on the message. You can see if the message has been assigned, the sentiment of the message, which queues the message is sitting in, and several more. Clicking on some of these can open up more information, and clicking on others can open up a window for that property. Hovering over the message, at the bottom you can see a number of quick actions that you can take. The first is applying macros. Macros are predefined sets of actions that can be executed with a single click, such as responding to common customer inquiries or applying tags to messages. Here you can scroll through the list of macros you have, or search for one at the top. Once you've chosen a macro, you just need to click it to apply it and trigger those actions. To find out more about macros, including how to set them up, head to sprinkler.com forward slash help. Next to macros, we have the assign button. In some situations, you may want to assign a message to a particular employee or message queue. For example, if a message from a customer relates to a specific team, like returns and refunds. Clicking this opens the assign window where you can do just that. The next button is the reply button. This opens the message thread and allows you to craft the perfect reply to that particular message. You can type your response, add links, choose from preset canned responses, add emojis, and use Sprinkler's AI to help you generate or tweak the content. You can also choose whether the reply is a public reply or a private message. Some of these options regarding replying vary from channel to channel. Depending on your environment, you may need to add campaign details or other custom fields. From this window, you can also click to see the recipient's profile, including any other relevant interactions, cases, or activity. Heading back to our message, this button allows you to archive or unarchive the message. This lets you focus on what's more important while still retaining access to archived information when needed. And then moving along, you can see a three dot menu. Clicking this opens up a list of further options and actions. These include hiding and deleting messages, opening the message details in a separate window, setting a reminder to return to the message, viewing the sentiment of the message, and many more. Double-clicking a message opens it in the third pane, and at the top you can see some of the options that we've already covered. This overview window shows some additional properties of the message, such as queues, cases, and any comments or tasks left by your colleagues on the message. You can also access the message thread from this window, as well as any additional properties. You can also find any relevant cases, and you can leave comments on the message for collaboration with your team. You can also create and view tasks relating to this message. So, as you can see, there are many options and tools at your disposal for engaging with your audience using Sprinkler's engagement dashboards. For a more detailed explanation on using the engagement dashboards, head to sprinkler.com forward slash help.